If you go back to the history of Somaliland as a whole, uh, there was no tradition of higher education prior to Amudi Arrest. In 1991, when Somaliland was declared as an independent state, we had a pool of young men and women frustrated who were roaming in the streets, having nowhere else to go. We thought that the culture of peace that was gradually taking roots in Somaliland was not, in my opinion, and others as well, fully sustainable unless and until the problems of young men and women were addressed. Amud has grown from two to nine faculties. Each one of them reflect a need of the country. We started with education, we started with business and public administration. The third faculty was uh, the faculty of uh, medicine and surgery, which was established in uh, 2001. There was a dire need for producing uh, well-trained health professionals. With the collapse of the Somali government, you know, all health facilities and training institutions were either looted or completely destroyed. At the time that we were starting the school, in, in Somalia there were around 98 doctors. Somaliland has not enough doctors at the moment. I came here because uh, I saw the challenge of lack of nursing care in this country. I found out that all the nurses have been drained out because of the war. In Somaliland, uh, whole Somaliland, there are two, uh, three qualified dentists, including me. I thought, you know, the country really needs uh, uh, professionals to be tra I mean, trained. Uh, I come back again also because, you know, I have seen many bad images in Somalia on the TV in, in UK. So I thought we have to do and show the world this, the other side of Somali, Somali spread. So I'm trying to be a model. Knowing the challenges, we have started a school of nursing that has been, I think, its, its first uh, of its kind in, in this country. Of course, it wasn't our own effort alone. A lot of people helped. International organizations supplement what we have started. Today, our medical doctors and nurses are on the right track largely because of the assistance extended to us by these international teams. The vision of our school is to be a center of excellence for medical education in Somaliland. It's a clinical rotation that the graduates has to pass through internal medicine, the pediatrics, general surgery, gyno ops, and community medicine. So they pass through this um, rotation, they stay five months in each, in each rotation. Within Somaliland, we believe that within the coming 10 years, we will uh, probably provide, along with Hargeisa University Medical School, four to 800 new medical doctors. So, from Amud to Hargeisa, the two medical schools, when you talk about the progress about the public health system in Somaliland, frankly, you are talking about these schools. Not only the curative aspect of health, but also the preventive aspect is gaining momentum in the country. And this is largely due to the existence and the establishment of this school and the cadres of young men and women who have already been trained and they are producing. The graduates must be community oriented. You know, they have to come into contact with the community that they will serve them. And at the same time, we're also encouraging them to remain within the country, not to leave the country. It's because and we encourage that they, they, they have to know that their people need them. The greatest joy that I see is that when students come to school and they have no idea what they, what they will be going into, and sometimes when you ask them to define nursing and they don't know, they have no clue. And today, after four years, if you see them this morning, how they are working, it's a great joy. When I see somebody like do what I have to uh, teach them, I really 
become very happy. Like I achieved something very big. The country went into, went into coma. And it's coming back of the, of the coma. The students are learning how to heal. So Maryland in general, it itself is learning how to heal